The hardest part of my day is waking up. My grandson was three months old. He won't remember that his father held him before he was brutally murdered. They call him fresh because whenever he got paid, he would always have a new pair of sneakers on. So they were always fresh. People have misconceptions about how the gun violence occurs. There's many instances of mistaken identity, an argument that goes wrong, a lot of accidental shootings. I had had an idea to make portraits of victims of gun violence where the artist would meet with the family and create a portrait in their own style and interpretation of that person's life. It's absolutely critical that the family member feels that we can listen to the story of the life of their loved one and what they meant to the people around them. The focus is really on the person and how they lived. And I think it really is based on what the artist is bringing to it and also what they're getting from the family that feels appropriate. The mission of this project is to get people to pay attention to the number of people who are lost to gun violence every day. The other effect that we have is to bring some solace to the families. My son was 23 years old. He was a very loving, silly, just silly. He always just wanted family together. When they did tell me it was nothing else they could do for him, I did let them know he was an organ donor. When I seen a crown and she said, and you see the diamonds on it, that's for the seven people lives he saved. She actually listened and made my pain into a purpose. I heard about the project through a group, Moms Minded by Grief, who told me what the project was about and to give life to our loved ones lost through the paintings. When he was younger, he would never smile. Then after the notice that he was gonna be a father. And from that day on, he just smiled all the time. He said he wanted to be the kind of father his father was to him. I was afraid of the portrait. I kept saying, that's not my son. That's not my son. And I waited till later on that night to actually look at it. And he was surrounded by his family. He was surrounded by people that he loved. That portrait made me accept the fact that my son, he was not coming back. And I love it. I love that portrait. That's something he always talked about. He only wanted to be around his family. Whenever she sees this image of him, it just brings him to life for her. I feel incredibly honored to provide a portrait and to provide an ear to listen to their story. My experience with these moms is that they're very strong women who have done everything right in raising their kids and just the existence of guns everywhere. This is an injustice. This project is incredibly important to me because I'm not a marcher, I'm not an activist, but I'm an artist and I'm outraged by gun violence. And this is something I could do. And every artist that works with us is equally passionate about this. I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.